Tesla has pushed back delivery wait times for several trim levels of the Model Y and Model X to 2023. On the other hand, recent price hikes have made Tesla Model 3 and Model Y ineligible for California's clean car rebate program. Tesla began inviting 15,000 guests to the Cyber Rodeo at the Gata factory in Texas, and the first fully built white Tesla Model Y was spotted outside Gata, Texas. Today's question is, can a heavily modified Tesla Model Y survive in the Chinese desert? Well, let's find out together. In 2021 and 2022, Tesla saw demand for its cars reach extraordinary levels as it continues to work on expanding its production capacity. With plans for Gata Factory Texas to open soon and extremely preliminary ideas for a potential expansion of the Fromot factory in Northern California, Tesla has pushed several configurations of its vehicle's expected delivery dates past 2022 and into 2023. First noticed by Twitter users on Thursday, Tesla's Model Y has its long-range and long-range with induction wheels configurations of the all-electric crossover with projected delivery dates of January 2023 to April 2023 and October 2022 to January 2023, respectively. The Model Y performance still has a delivery time in 2022, with the range expected to be within June and July. The Model X long range is the base trim level for the SUV, and Tesla isn't expected to deliver it until sometime between December 2022 and March 2023. The Plaid powertrain still holds a 2022 delivery time of August to October, the online design studio says. Model 3 and Model S will still be available in 2022 in each trim level. The Model S had pushed some configurations back to January earlier this week, but they have since been revised for delivery in 2022. The base trim of the Model 3 has an expected delivery date of June to August 2022, the long range with June to August 2022, and performance with June to July 2022. The Model S long range is expected to be delivered from July to September 2022, with the Plaid holding a delivery of June or July 2022. CEO's Elon Musk has said in the past that Tesla's demand isn't the problem, but capacity is. When Hertz ordered 100,000 vehicles from Tesla last October, Musk said Tesla has far more demand than production when speaking of how the rental company would receive the vehicles, which now includes the Model Y. It is unknown if Tesla is factoring in the potential for Gigafactory Texas to ramp production in these estimates. While expanding the factory may take some time, Tesla is actively producing some Model Ys at the Texas factory, so the factory may help reduce Tesla's extended wait time as soon as possible. Tesla's mass-market Model 3 and Model Y vehicles have been axed from the California Clean Vehicle Rebate Project following the automaker's latest price hikes due to inflation pressure. A representative for the CVRP program told Cars Direct that the Model 3 and Model Y were recently excluded from the program because price hikes implemented by Tesla pushed EV above the program's suggested retail price cap. The $2,000 credit was taken away from the Model 3 when it went over the $4-$5,000 MSRP cap the organization has for cars that rolled out in February, as the Model Y's over $60,000 price tag disqualifies it for the credit due to a price threshold on SUV and crossovers. Any customer who ordered a vehicle on or before March 15 is still eligible for the $2,000 rebate. According to the representative, eligibility is based on order date, not delivery date. Qualifying for the CVRP credit is not a straightforward process, the report shows. For vehicles eligible for CVRP credit, eligibility is based on the suggested retail price of the vehicle's base trim level, excluding destination charges. A $70,000 Ford Mustang Mach-E GT performance trim still qualifies for the credit because the base trim level of the Mach-E is still below the $60,000 MSRP cap. Right now, the most affordable Model Y is the long-range all-wheel drive configuration, which costs $62,990 before any potential savings are factored in, making both of Tesla's Model Y trims out of the program. As CEO's Elon Musk tweeted last week, Tesla expects prices to rise, and the company and its aerospace entity SpaceX are feeling inflation pressure. Within a day, Tesla had raised prices on every vehicle in its lineup with the Model X Plaid seeing the biggest increase at $12,500. The report also noted that CVRP representatives said Tesla customers have been calling in droves asking questions about the changes. Tesla customers were also disqualified from the federal EV tax credit, worth $7,500, because the automaker has sold more than 200,000 vehicles. General Motors is the only other manufacturer currently ineligible for the program. This week, Polster began taking orders for the single-motor Polster 2, which is not eligible for CVRP credit due to its base price above $4-$5,000. to 
Polster has yet to sell 200,000 units, so customers will be eligible for a $7,500 credit. Tesla can regain CVRP points if the Model 3's base trim level drops below $4,000 to $5,000. Supply chain shortages, including semiconductors and chips, have been in high demand since the start of the COVID-19 pandemic in March 2020, and when that happens is still up in the air. Over the last few weeks several hundred Tesla Model Ys have been accumulating outside Giva, Texas in a holding lot at the south end of the factory. All of these cars are painted solid black or dark blue metallic. Now that's all changed, as the fully constructed pearl white multi-coated Model Y has been spotted on Giva, Texas for the first time. The new addition was captured in a drone flyover of the factory on Saturday morning by Jeff Roberts. Unfortunately, the only images we have are from a distance. The sighting came more than two weeks after the first white model by body was spotted outside the paint shop at the factory's north end. With GigaFest Austin only a few weeks away, we still don't know for sure what battery packs these made in Texas Model Ys are being built with. After the Q4 2021 earnings call, we were all expecting them to feature structural battery packs with 4680 cells, but a new Model Y with a 279 mile range was recently added to the EPA website, might also be producing Model Ys with lithium iron phosphate battery packs. This possibility is also supported by the source code of a recent software update, which includes a new reference to the standard range plus Model Y. Tesla has officially started inviting the 15,000 guests to its Cyber Rodeo event at Gigafactory Texas on April 7 as CEO's Elon Musk published a photo of a virtual invitation to the event last night. Tesla has announced that it will hold an event to commemorate the opening of its newest production facility and a second one at the Gigafactory in Texas. After holding a Gigafest event at its German plant, Gigafactory Berlin, in late 2021, Musk confirmed Tesla would do the same in Texas, with the event having its own southern twist. Tesla officially applied to host the event when it filed with the Travis County Fire Chief's office in February. The office approved the application, which means it will go to the Travis County Commissioner's Court for final approval. After the Commissioner's Court held a public hearing for local residents to voice their concerns, the commissioners on the board unanimously approved Tesla's application. The public hearing did come with a few complaints from local residents. One citizen was unhappy with Tesla's community outreach, comparing the automaker's fast and efficient construction process to an unfriendly neighbor. While Commissioner Bridget Shee agreed Tesla should do more community interaction, she also stated she was not willing to turn down this permit for this big event they have planned for a while. Invitations are now being sent to various members of the community, but it appears that not all 15,000 people have been invited. As far as how to get to the event, it appears Tesla won't be accepting applications for tickets or allowing people to buy tickets individually. During the commissioner's court meeting on Tuesday, members of the assembly said the event had an invite-only structure. Tesla plans to hold the event on April 7 at 4 p.m. at its Gigafactory Texas facility. Tesla wants to maintain and secure its position as a global electric vehicle leader and according to its founder and CEOs, it has big ambitions to sell even more cars than it is today. The automaker is building factories around the world, with plans to build even more, and it seems the goal is to produce as many as 20 million EV per year by 2030. The company now operates about 16 different facilities around the world, most of which either build cars or make parts for them. Most recently, the automaker recently delivered the first vehicles, Model Y crossovers, built at its new factory in Germany known as Giga Berlin, the Berlin Vita Factory or Giga Factory 4. Last year was the automaker's best year ever, as it was able to sell nearly 1 million vehicles, 936,172 to be exact marking an almost 90% increase year over year compared to 2020 when the company just missed reaching the 500,000 sales mark. That was again a significant improvement over 2019 when 367,500 units were delivered. The 20 million sales per annum by the early 2030s seems like a big number, but it is what Elon Musk stated on the sidelines of the first Giga Berlin deliveries. Automotive News quotes the Tesla CEOs as saying, I think it's aggressive, but not impossible, that we could do 20 million cars in 10 years. And that would be a good number because there's 2 billion cars and trucks in the world that are in active use, so 20 million would be then 1% of the global fleet per year. Tesla will also expand its model roster by then, it will not keep building the same four models that it offers now. In regard to this, Musk expects that, as we are able to ramp production and satisfy demand in our existing markets, then we will be able to expand to other markets and we will also add additional products. The newly completed German production plant is expected to produce 500,000 vehicles per year by 2025, around 54,000 cars are expected to be produced this year, 
then 280,000 in 2023, and the ramp up will continue until 2025. Can a heavily modified Tesla Model Y survive in the Chinese desert? This is a question that not many people have asked, but the team at Vitato decided it was time to try and answer it. The project car company custom modified a Tesla Model Y long range AWD to be the ideal EV off road car. The test was to see if the vehicle could make for a good overland or off-road vehicle in the desert. Improvements on the car included improved and lifted the suspension 3 inches with custom upper and lower control arms, spindles, CV shafts, and adjustable coilovers. To give the CV shaft some extra protection, they lowered both the engines. Custom metal fender flares, 32-inch tires, custom roll cage, custom front bumper, off-roading light bar. They first tested out the car 500 kilometers outside of Beijing. The day of off-roading included river crossings, steep mountain climbs, and even rock climbing. Then it was off to the desert. The Model Y does well in the desert, but the EV did have some limitations. To make the crossing, the company installed a gasoline generator to give the car some extra range. Although the Model Y's factory cruising range is 594 kilometers, after the modification, the car's cruising range in the desert finally reached about 200 kilometers. So, the Model Y finished the 500 kilometers crossing with some minor issues, but the range was certainly the biggest hurdle. If you plan to mod your Model Y for off-roading, the range loss is certainly something to consider. So, what do you guys think about this? Let us know in the comments below. And most importantly, if you wish to be updated on every single topic related to the EV industry, you should consider subscribing to the channel and pressing the bell icon. Also, thank you for watching the video. This is us signing off. See you guys in the next one. Until then, peace.